to my Walmart grocery haul. My name is Kat. I am a food blogger, a grocery shop lover, and I love cooking meals at home. I really think the best way to save money and live a healthier, balanced life is to make most of your meals and coffee at home. I really hope this channel just encourages you to get creative in the kitchen, to have fun in the kitchen, and not be afraid of making mistakes while cooking because cooking truly is a learning process. You're only gonna get better by experimenting, trying new things, and learning from the mistakes that you make. I do have a weekly newsletter that goes out every Sunday. It's called Cat's Kitchen Newsletter, and it has a weekly meal plan. It tells you all of the breakfast, lunch, dinners, snacks, desserts, the workouts I do, the coffees I make, everything for the entire week, and it has the recipes for each meal. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. I'll put the link in the description. So today I'm gonna show you my grocery haul. This is everything I got from Walmart. I spent about $150, and it's all for just myself and my husband. And all this food really should last us about two weeks. I might go back to the grocery store just to pick up a couple more tomatoes and avocados for recipes next week. But for the most part, everything should last us for two weeks. I do tend to freeze some of the proteins like the sausage or the ground beef because I'm not going to use it, you know, right away this week and I don't want it to go bad. So I'll just put it in the freezer and then next week I'll thaw it out and then use that to make the recipes for next week. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna blow through the haul real quick, show you everything I got, and then I'm going to kind of organize everything with the things I bought today and the foods that I currently have in my pantry and my fridge and my freezer to show you what meals I'm actually planning on making. So let's get into the haul. I have some shredded cheese, some cheese cubes. I really like these for snacks. These, this is Colby and Monterey Jack, and then these are pepper jack cheese cubes. I have some plain Greek yogurt. I actually give that to my dog for a little snack. She loves Greek yogurt. Lots of eggs for breakfast. This is garden vegetable cream cheese. Twizzler bites, I love those. Then for produce, I have lots of produce. We eat a lot of vegetables in this house. I have broccoli florets, some white mushrooms, cherry tomatoes to snack on. These are mini bell peppers. These are really sweet, they're not spicy at all, they're very sweet. Radishes, some whole carrots, cilantro, avocado, these are green beans and romaine lettuce. Also check out these cool produce bags, they're reusable ones, they're washable. I found them on Amazon and I'll link them below in the description. Cucumbers, uh, jalapenos, Roma tomatoes. I don't know what's going on, but I have an addiction right now to Roma tomatoes. Same with Brussels sprouts, I'm going to air fry these. I have four sweet potatoes, I'm making sweet potato fries. Um, a head of garlic and an onion. This is a big old zucchini. Look at the size of the zucchini. It was like the biggest one in the bunch. <laughs> this is massive. All right, so that's all the produce I have. And then let's go into protein. I have Italian sausage. This is Milanesa. This is just a really thinly sliced steak and it's also dripping everywhere. Then I also have chicken thighs down here, but the beef is a dripping. Then I have some ground bison. We love this ground bison and some beef burgers. You can also buy your ground beef and make regular burgers, but I was feeling lazy and they were kind of on sale. For canned items and pantry items, I have black beans and pinto beans, tomato sauce, basmati rice. These are corn tortillas, canned artichokes. I like to eat these like in a salad. Pickled carrots, my one true love. Chocolate malt powder. I am going to try making the chocolate cream cold brew coffee from Starbucks. My husband loves these ramen bowls, so I always pick him up one or two. This is the medium roast Starbucks. It is unsweetened and they're cold brew as well. I have some Alfredo sauce and then a little bit of whipped cream. And then lastly, I got two cans of Diet Coke and then Fresca. My husband loves the Fresca. So altogether, this came out to about $150, which is 
enough for about two weeks of food. So it's really, you know, 75 ish bucks per week. Let me organize this. I'm going to have the foods I just bought with the foods I already have in my kitchen to show you all of the meals I'm planning on making this week. To start, here's everything for breakfast and coffee. I have eggs and shredded cheese to just do an egg scramble with the tortilla. I also like to do these hash browns. These are from Trader Joe's. They're frozen. You just pop them in the air fryer and add some avocado on top with a little bit of salt, pepper, lemon juice, and chili flakes. Love that with like a fried egg. I also have a little bit of cottage cheese left over from my last grocery haul. I'll probably have it with some sliced strawberries and then some kind of either pistachio, um, sliced almonds, or maybe some walnuts on top. I also will be doing a parfait. I have some vanilla Greek yogurt, also some peach Greek yogurt left over, an apple. I usually slice the apple up, add it to some vanilla Greek yogurt, and then add, again, some nuts or seeds to the top with a little bit of cinnamon for just a, a very simple high protein parfait. I also want to do a smoothie. I have these pomegranate juices from Squeezed Juice. They sent me over a couple of these and they're very good with some wild blueberries, some frozen spinach, aloe vera juice, and I also add a little bit of vanilla Greek yogurt for protein. And then for coffee, I'm gonna make the chocolate cream cold brew from Starbucks. So I have the Starbucks cold brew and this chocolate malt powder. I'm very excited for that. And then just some iced coffee to do some other recipes um, that I haven't planned yet. And then some whipped cream because coffee always tastes good with some whipped cream. This is breakfast, let's do some lunch. For lunches this week, I'm going to do a buffalo chicken Caesar salad. So I have some chicken thighs here that I'm going to bake in the oven and coat it with this red hot wings buffalo sauce. Then I have some romaine, I'll chop up cucumber, cherry tomatoes. I'll add these artichoke hearts to my salad, not my husband's. And then this is just some Parmesan cheese. And then we'll top everything with this ranch. My husband wanted me to make broccoli and beef for his lunches. So I have this Milan Milanesa. It's just a really thin cut beef. So I'm just going to fry that up in a pan with some onion, garlic, a little bit of soy sauce and cornstarch, and then serve that over some white rice for just little beef and broccoli bowls. And then, oh, and the broccoli, obviously. And the last thing I have planned for lunches are black bean and cheese quesadillas. So I have two cans of black beans, some tortillas, a little bit of shredded cheese, and then I like to add vegetables when I can. So I have some pickled carrots and then I'll just serve that with a side of radishes and then I'll add avocado for a healthy fat. Those are the lunches, let's do dinners. Okay, and for dinners, I'm making a chicken stir fry. So I have the chicken thighs, the same ones I'm using for the buffalo chicken salad. I'm going to add stir fry noodles. I'm gonna do water chestnuts and baby corn as well as some carrots, and then just throw that in like a soy sauce for a stir fry. Second meal is burgers. I have these beef patties here. I'm gonna serve them with jalapeno, bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. So they're just jalapeno stuffed with this veggie cream cheese wrapped in bacon, and then you air fry them and they come out so crispy and delicious. So I'm gonna have those with the burgers as well as some sweet potato fries. These are sweet potatoes and zucchini. And then I might air fry some Brussels sprouts for that meal, we'll see. Meal number three is a spicy sausage Alfredo pasta. So I have this spicy Italian sausage here. I'm going to add some mushrooms and some broccoli, boil some pasta, and then add this Alfredo sauce to it. Very excited for that one. And then a vegetarian meal I'm attempting for the first time is, it's like a, a pinto bean sofrito with, with white rice. So I have some pinto, it's a like a Puerto Rican dish. So I have pinto beans, uh, garlic, some tomato sauce. These are chickpeas for a little extra fiber and protein. And I'm gonna serve that all over a basmati rice. And meal number five, this will probably be for next week. I have some ground 
bison. I'm just going to cook it up like you would with regular ground beef, serve it over some basmati rice with green beans, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, and some carrots. So that's meal five. So meal number six, the final meal I'm going to make with all of this food are ceviche air fried tacos. So you take tuna and mix it with pico de gallo, which I am gonna make. I have Roma tomato, white onion, cilantro, what is this, jalapeno. You mix the tuna with the pico and you put it in corn tortillas right here. And then I'm gonna air fry them with a little bit of avocado oil to get them nice and crispy. I list every single recipe that I make in my newsletter. So for example, this chicken stir fry, I will have the recipe in there as well as the air fried ceviche tacos. So that way you get the email, you can just click on the, the meal and then it'll bring you right to the recipe. So definitely subscribe to that, it's free. And like I said, only one email a week. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want it to be just a place where we can get creative in the kitchen, we can have fun in the kitchen, and hopefully I can encourage you to make more meals and more coffee at home to help you save money and to help you reach your health goals, whatever that looks like for you. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.